the shop, you click on it, it moves up and gets bigger. Click on again, it goes down and gets smaller. That's literally it. It's very simple. Today we're going to be doing a tweening tutorial. Now, what is tweening? Tweening is basically like animating. Now, I can do that with parts. And in this video, we're going to do it on GUI. So GUI is basically uh, the user interface. So we're going to go on start GUI. Insert a screen UI, because that's what we need for all GUIs. And then we can insert like a button, for example. Um, so let's say, for example, we are trying to make a shop. And then whenever we click on the shop, right? Uh, we want the the shop to appear, but the animating. So sometimes you don't want it to just appear because it doesn't really look nice. It doesn't really uh, you know have that feel. So usually you want to like move to the screen. Or maybe if you don't want to, uh, to move the screen, maybe you just want it to kind of uh, resize or like get bigger, if that makes any sense. Of course, this is just one example. You can do it with other stuff. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the there, there's like limited, uh, limited, uh, not limited, unlimited uh, things you can do with this. So let's actually position this. Where is it? Okay. And then we can do 0 0.1, actually 0 0.1, and 0 0.05. Maybe this is too small, but whatever. Just going to make a shop or something like that, or just any type of uh, GUI. And then I'll put this at 0 0.5. Oh, no, 0 0.5 0 is 0 0.01 x-axis. 0 0.01 on the x-axis and the 0 0.5 on the y-axis scaled and then you can do whatever you want so let's change the font to gotham bowl gotham black is good i like gotham black then we can so let's say there's a shop for example soccer yeah i can't spell um okay okay text code to white change to anything so let's say this is okay then you are where because why not are you like corner so this is our shop then we can make another frame this will be the actual shop uh does it really matter um see let's resize this again uh so remove this Point five, point five, point five. Then move this to the middle. Five, zero point. That's we change the anchor point, and then position zero point five on the uh, scaled. Zero point five, zero point five on the scaled. So x y. Zero point five, zero zero point five. Then we just put the same exact thing here. Put the same exact thing. Make this. Kind of red, same color pretty much. Uh, then it can be anything, but it's text label because why not? It's text label. It's any random, so like just make this background to 0 0.5 and then change this to 0 0.1. Not 0 0.1, uh, so on the x and x, and then 0 0.2 or something. 0.2. Then we can change this to the same font. Uh, I like Gotham Black the most. Oops. Okay, I know why there's a weird glitch with my PC right now, so hope that does not matter. Um. Okay. Text color. Okay. Shop. Text guild. And let's put this background transparency. To a really nice red. Whatever. Actually, it doesn't. Mm, looks weird, but whatever. Let's put another. You like corner because why not? Now it doesn't really look that good. I think maybe I should put it, make it darker. Uh, whatever. So, okay, let's say. Okay, I don't know. This is kind of unnecessary. It's really. um, What really matters is the script that. So, what, what do you use to tween stuff? Let's say you click on this, this button right here. Let's make a script. 
Uh, I should actually, I should make a skip thing. You can, whatever. Maybe it's fast forward. Uh, that's what I should do. Anyways, um, how do you tween up? So we're gonna use tween uh position, tween size, and tween size and position. Those are the three things that we're gonna we're gonna go over today. So local uh button. So I think it's gonna appear. That's the button. So when you click on it, that mouse button click. Connect function. This is when you click the button. Okay, press enter. And then we can tween the thing. So how do we make it? So if you want to make a shop button, right? You want to check it first if it's appearing or if it's not appearing. Because or if it's already appeared. So if you want to close it, right? I click on again. So it's gonna make a variable for this local visible. So whether or not it's visible, false. So it's not visible. It's not visible, meaning it's by default, it's not visible. So it's out outside of the screen. And actually, by the way, should put this out of the screen. So what we can do instead of putting this manually look off the screen, what we can do is um the frame, which is the frame that is made right now. So local frame equal but dot parent button dot parent dot frame then frame dot position equal udm dot udm two dot new which is basically the position except it's on the screen. So udm two is used for position on the screen. Then we can do is uh we can actually do zero point five zero one point five zero and one point five the reason why you do one point five is because when when you do 1.5, it's outside the screen. So one is like at the edge right here. And 1.5 would be like even like below the screen, basically. So the player won't see. So that's where you do 1.5. Uh per is self-explanatory. Um, so by default it's gonna be in that position. So the player of obviously by default shouldn't be uh seeing the shot. So it's not visible then. We're gonna tween the frame. So let's say do frame then tween position. So colon tween position is what we do to do uh, to tween the position to animate the position. Uh, there's also tween size and tween size and position. We're gonna go over that. So change, and then we can basically put our parameters. So first is the udem two, which is the si uh, the position value. Then the easing direction. Then the easing. Oh no, sorry. Uh, yeah, easing style. Okay, it's not. Oh, there it is. Uh, easing direction, easing style. And then the time, and then the override. I'm not sure override is put it to false. Um, so first is udem two, which is basically the same exact thing as this one, this value right here. So I can copy and paste this right here. Okay, well I think I did that wrong. Okay. Whatever. Um, uh, instead of one point five, let's do like zero point five, which is this will put it at the middle of the screen. Okay, comma. Then actually you could we could put like a you can put enter if you want just because it looks better I think okay uh, whatever this looks weird um okay so enum dot easing style uh, I think it's easing direction first easing direction and then put you can put dot so there's out in and in and out um I was like when it tweens out right so you can um. Basically, I think what, uh, so there's different animation. I'm, I'm going to put a wiki link in the description just because it's kind of hard to explain uh, what these are. So out, basically, it accelerates faster than when it ends. Uh, when it goes closer to the end, it slows down. So it starts fast, uh, ends slow. In, starts slow, ends fast. If that's correct. And, and now it's basically both. So starts slow, then uh, in the middle, it speeds up then at the end it slows down again so let's do out um, personally i like out the best so enum the easing direction so easing direct uh easing stuff oh my gosh and these are the different uh easing styles um each one has a different style so like for example bounce bounces i guess elastic is very elastic linear is kind of the most boring one uh like sign is pretty good then we're gonna do 0 0.5 the amount of seconds so the tween time so how long you want it to animate for then false and that's pretty much it so this is for position now i can just put the enter here just because you can't really see it now so okay so you can see every single uh, element there we go so this is a position the easing direction easing cell time and whether or not it's override let's do set to false Okay, now this is when the visible is false. So let's 
we're gonna do a weight five we took five but then visible true visible equal true all right so now visible is true the frame is now visible then we can do else uh that's same so if it's not or if so we did if not visible so else if it is visible right you want to turn it back off screen because we click on we click it again to uh close the gui basically so we're just paste this all right now set this to false right and then instead of in the middle we'll do 1.5 again that's it um yeah pretty self-explanatory um right let's see let's see if this works so right now you can't really see the shop but if you click on it boom you see how uh, nice it is this animates um so this is for the tween position we click on again boom like that pretty cool that is sign now there's many other easy uh styles i guess i'm gonna show you just because why not so like for example if I elastic elastic as an easing style uh it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna show you there's different types of easing styles so you should play around with them uh so if it's like this it makes it tune like that so that's what easing styles are that's probably the most significant part of it well obviously time is too i mean they're all significant whatever okay now so this is for easing uh easing oh my god tween position we're gonna do also tween size so what is tween size so let's say like, let's actually cop um we can do we pretty much can copy this but we're gonna um, let's come come this out actually or just erase this i mean let's erase this uh then we can i'll comment this out for now paste it so again we can do frame and then colon tween size tween size is also has the same values as a position file with juden 2new so we use that same type of value oops and paste it in but instead it's obviously the size so size is a bit different now we already set the size to 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we're going to do 0 0.5 0 0.5 because that's the initial um that's the end point when we click on the shop button so by default we want to change this so instead of position we can do uh size now the thing will be actually oh we, should, we want to actually make the the frame that visible is false frame that visible is false and then when we click on it frame that visible is true it will true and then you can just copy copy and paste this to the uh other statement uh other uh, case well, all right so we're gonna keep on doing this now when you make the the uh, frame visible we can then tween the size so first we're gonna set it so we're gonna actually uh, keep it here but instead it's gonna be a you're not gonna be able to see it because we set the visible to false and then we can say change the size to a smaller size because that's a start position let's say 0 0.01 or something 0 0.01 on both axes 0 0.01 that aside it's going to be like pretty small but you won't be seeing it until you click the button then it will uh tween uh to a bigger size so like this size right here so this is the end position the end position uh but actually, i actually should have said that earlier that would make more sense whatever so this is the end so when we whenever we put the position values or the size values was basically the udem2 uh that's for the end of position or the end size not the start one not a start position so don't get confused um so yeah i'm going to tween size into and same thing enum dot easing style dot i'm going to do a sign again enum dot uh oh that's easing sorry easing direction is Ease, easing direction then out again Em dot using style dot sign zero point one false. It's honestly the same exact thing, except the only thing we're changing is udem two dot new. So let's make this better, so we can understand this. So it's this all in one uh thing. All right. 
Then we can copy and paste this, do the same exact thing, except change the size. So we do 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and then we can change the visible to false. All right, let's see. Hopefully this works. Um, let's see. So you can't really see the a shop because we set the visible to false. So when you click on it, boom, it gets bigger. Um, and click on it again, it gets smaller and then disappears. It becomes invisible. So that's tween size. Now, tween size and position. I don't think it's very, um, like you probably won't be using it a lot. You, you'll probably be either using position or size. We can use both, there's no doubt about it. So let's say you want to start here or at the left of the screen, or actually, I let's say you start at the bottom of the screen, and then it moves up, and then when it, while it moves up, it gets bigger. So we can use tween uh, size and position. Now we can actually use both of, the, both of these values. So we can use the position value that we used, and the size value that we use. So let's actually copy and paste this, and then set the start point. This is the start point. The start point is where it first starts, so position. And then we can do 0 0.5. 0 uh, 1.5 that will be the position and the size will be 0 0.1 0 0.1 which is very small all right so now we can just do frame that tween size and position you don't really need this um this is the position value so actually you don't really need any of this um well we can just copy the paste whatever um the frame tween size and position right here so the first is the end size, then the end position. So copy paste this. So actually not end size is right here. The same thing actually, same exact thing. Uh, but whatever, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So the same thing, just copy and paste this right here. Right here. And then also the same thing for the position. So both position and size will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, um, let's actually just make this like this enum dot easing direction dot out enum dot easing style dot sign enum actually not zip five false okay I don't know what what's wrong with this right now okay that's good now we just don't need any of this you can comment all of this out come on all of this out by the way i apologize if i didn't explain this but this is for end position and end size the start position will be what it first starts out as so right here we first start start out as uh these values so size would be 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.01 position 0 0.5 0, uh 1.5 so below the screen um and then just copy paste this press this Tween size and position. All right. Let's see how this works. So click on the shop right here. Boom, it moves up and it gets bigger. Then click on again. Oh, I think I accidentally, oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to change the size, I'm so dumb. Oh, okay, no. Change the size and position. So size would be 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Let's forget about that. One or five, okay. Let's try this again. The shop, you click on it, it moves up and gets bigger. Click on it again, it goes down, and gets smaller. That's literally it. It's very simple. Um, you just have to get uh, you know get used to the tween position, tween size, tween size and position. That's those are the three functions that you really need to uh, you know get used to. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you um, well, I hope you subscribe and like and comment down what you want next. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can join our Discord if you want. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys in the next one.